me, Jam, and welcome back again for another episode of Jam Drops PH. And for today's project, I'm going to make Staro spores from the movie The Suicide Squad. Before we start, please visit and follow us on our social media accounts like Facebook page and Instagram, Jam Drops PH. So without further ado, let's get started. For some of the materials, I would like to thanks my friends Stena and Kuya Jun for giving me the polyethylene foam and the plastic cup lid for milk tea. I cut pieces of plastic envelopes and uh, also bought this black tint sticker for the eyes. I usually start with covering the head with aluminum foil and tape and I drew some linings like in the middle and the eyes. You can look for the images of Staro just to have a good picture reference. For the designs, I just got a triangular shape to help me draw the starfish-like shape of the spore and then I cut the templates. After cutting, you may now start tracing your templates in a piece of paper or you can directly trace it onto the foam. I cut the edges with a straight cut using scissors and for the middle leg or head part, you can cut it with a cutter using outward cut. This cut will also help you to curve the shape of Staro and be patient when using super glue, it dries quickly. You can also adjust some of the legs to make a curved shape. This plastic lid will help you to see things clearly even when you use uh, plastic envelopes. I also tried this facial frame to attach the spores but I discarded it because it doesn't fit on my face. I also drew more patterns in a polyethylene foam just to add more bulkiness when I glue it with a EVA foam. And besides, this kind of foam can be easily reshaped or sculpted. The reason I chose this foam because of the textures, it has a lot of small holes. That you can see. You can use a low temperature glue gun and spread the glue just to avoid the foam from melting. After drying you'll see the details and texture. It has a open pores like designs and it's pretty cool. Now that the glue has dried, be ready for painting. For the paint details, I used primer gray spray followed by red spray paint and after drying, I sprayed it with a blue spray paint. It will give you a color variations you'll see after drying. And here you can see the variations of colors and you can see the details and texturings and you may now use clear spray paint to seal the paint. Now for the eyes. I just cut the plastics in a circular shapes and I attach it with a double sided tape. I also found a gauze and I use it as a mesh so that my eyes can be covered and I prefer to use garter and attach it to the side legs and wait for it to dry. And you may now terrorize the citizen as a mind-controlled person. I'm not 
we learned and I hope you got some simple tips and ideas on how to create Sparrows Spores. <sighs> so if you do like my videos, please hit that like, share and subscribe button and notification bell for more amazing videos. Thank you.